Hello everyone, Leonardo Cornejo here, and I wanted to talk about something that I have been thinking in regards to my career as a writer. And that's exactly that I want. I don't want to be a career writer in the traditional way. That is, I don't want to become a celebrity author. And that's a fo that's a focus of this video. I really don't like celebrity authors. I mean, I I write the stories for my target audience. I write for the purpose of entertaining people, of <coughs> inspiring people. I don't really care about things such as activism or uh, leaving a deep message. I, I don't like the concept of making everything deep of making everything important, sometimes you need just entertainment. I don't, I don't like that arrogant attitude many authors have, and this is something I, I began to think about because of two factors. First was uh, Neil Gaiman basically selling, uh, selling out, <coughs> allowing a uh, character to be redesigned for the sake of political reasons and pretending it was normal, it was fine mm, after years of saying he opposed redesigns and the second was George R. R. Martin never releasing the end of, of his series he, he will never do it let's face it, he will never finish it he's too fat, he's too, uh, too rich, he's too famous to finish it because he will die of a heart attack before finishing and with uh, the passing of uh, Kentaro Miura I am, I am certain he, he will never finish A Song of Fire and Ice uh, was it a song of ice and fire? I don't care. I don't even care about him or about his series. And sincerely, I don't really care about mm, about him re not releasing it. Because I, I am not interested in his work and I knew it would happen. I mean, <coughs> I haven't seen the signs for years that he will never finish it. So I, I actually don't care. But that's that's where I, when I realized why 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 are these people so so incapable of having integrity? Why are they so devoid of ethics? So devoid of principles? Why why are they like that? Because they are celebrities. Because they stopped writing. Because they stopped caring about the about the creative part because they stopped creating uh, creating because they stopped caring about their uh, readers because they stopped caring at all well some of them didn't stop writing for example a gay man didn't stop writing he didn't stop the creative part but he stopped caring about his audience he stopped caring about his own integrity uh, in the case of Rowling she stopped caring about everything she actually kind of stopped writing she tried to write something else and she couldn't. <coughs> and Martin, he really stopped writing. He focuses so much on public events, on being a celebrity, that he no longer cares about writing. I don't want to become like that. I detest the celebrity author. That, that's what I, I, I mean. I would rather never become what I detest. Even though I make these videos this way to showcase my person, I don't even want people to care about me as an author. I, I want people to care about my work. I don't want the whole, the whole thing about being a, a famous author. A few days ago, someone asked me, who are your favorite writers? Who are your favorite authors? And I was like, I don't give a fuck about a single of them. I don't care about uh, about the authors. I don't care about the writers. I care about the the stories they write. I care about the things they create, because I don't have a guarantee that the author is really good. Even even uh, yeah, a good author can have some really bad stories, some really bad works, 
And if they become celebrity authors, those works will be put in, on a pedestal. That's how it works. That's how it works all the time. Whenever you see a famous author, even their worst is praised as if it was the best. I don't like that. I don't want people to think of Leonardo Cornejo. I want people to think of my novels, uh, in particular of the ones that I have already released, of Steel and Flame, Regent and Toxicant. I, I don't want to be on the front page of anything. I want my work to be relevant and myself stay in some level of obscurity. <coughs> of course, by making these videos that's so, that sounds a bit uh, contradictory. But that's also because I, I want people to know the way I think. I don't want I don't want people to care about me. But I want people to reflect upon the ideas I offer. I don't think my views are perfect or the only correct ones. But I think I think it is something worth saying. I think people need to reflect on that. Because many people I know would buy anything written by Stephen King, even if it was just a bunch of nonsensical lines. They would they they would buy it because it was written by King, and I don't I don't like that. I don't have a very high of opinion on of Stephen King since 2018. Or was it in 19? I don't remember, but a century recently, I don't have a very high opinion on him as a person. I don't like him. I think his works are good, but some of them are not that good. And I, I think... I think people should realize that putting the author <coughs> first is not a good idea. In fact, uh, quite literally first. <coughs> several books written by celebrity authors and a few written by people who are not celebrity authors have the title in a smaller in a smaller font than the than the <coughs> than the, uh, than, the uh, than the author's name and that that really bothers me <laughs> that that really bothers me whenever I see a book with the author's title in a bigger font than the author than the I mean a, a book with the author's name with a bigger font than the book title sometimes even above the title that is let's say George R. Martin uh, Game of Thrones I have seen it my sister had the had the the complete collection uh, that is until what was released already of the of the series and the, the the title was smaller than the author's name and was on beneath it. I don't like that. Fuck that shit. Seriously. Fuck that shit. I hate it. I think if you have uh, if you put the name of the author first, that means you are using the author's reputation to compensate the lack of substance. In the book, I don't really, I don't really care about books with in such conditions. If I am given a book with with the author's name larger than the title, I'm not buying it. I'm not interested. There are other factors. There are other types of cover which repel me, but that one is uh, the the worst. The the real deal breaker for me. I don't read that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and I think people should reflect on that and stop placing authors on a pedestal. They should stop caring about authors and start caring about the stories and making sure the stories are held to a higher standard. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. A Steel and Flame, book 1 of the Guilds of Avalanche series is available on Amazon. If you like fluffy world lolly protagonists and Japanese-like novels, follow the link below to check it out.